What makes travel special isn't the sights, the attractions or even the food, it is the people that you meet. Malaysia stands out as a country with incredibly warm and welcoming people. And the people of Kuantan Pahang are no exception. In this Malaysia vlog we share our Kuantan travel guide and our experiences with the Kuantan locals. This is what makes Malaysia special. We're Jay and John, bucket list travellers. We have a bucket list goal of reaching 100 countries in our lifetime and Malaysia is our 48th country. We like to travel slow, eat as much of the local food as possible and understand the local way of life. Kuantan is the capital city of the state of Pahang and is the largest city on the east coast of Malaysia with over 400,000 inhabitants. If you want to travel along the east coast of Malaysia, be sure to visit Kuantan. We travelled to Kuantan by bus from Pekan, Pahang. The bus dropped us right in the centre of town. If you feel like some retail therapy, there are plenty of Kuantan shopping malls to choose from. We went to a couple of malls whilst we were there. The malls were modern and had a great range of shops. So it's a shopping day for us today and we're at Quantum City Mall in Malaysia. Now there's a blackout at the moment and it's been going on for at least a couple of hours and a lot of the shops are on backup generators but I think at this point it seems like they're starting to run out of juice on the backup generators so a lot of the shops behind us are closing for the day because there's not much you can do without power. So hopefully we'll be able to get the shopping done that we need to do. Lights have returned, yay! Just across the road from Kuantan City Mall, there's a street vendor selling refreshing Malaysian ice desserts. The perfect treat for a hot day in Malaysia. We couldn't resist stopping for an ABC dessert. While we were there, we met Safwan, the owner of the store. He's such a friendly guy and we weren't prepared for the hospitality that was to come. Malaysian people have just been so lovely towards us. The street vendor gave us a free chendol, which is awesome. So here it is. Chendol is a very popular dessert in Malaysia. It's ice, it's sweet condensed milk, it's brown sugar, and there's also these signature green, I think, green jelly things in here as well. It's a very unique taste, very Malaysian, very refreshing. We love walking along the Kuantan Esplanade in the late afternoon. The Esplanade is also home to the Kuantan 188 Tower, the second tallest tower in Malaysia. You can pay to go up to the tower to the observation deck or sky deck for panoramic views of the city. We were also lucky enough to be in town in time for some festivals and got to watch some Muay Thai tournaments, which are popular in this part of Malaysia. first evening in Kuantan, a lot of the restaurants around the Esplanade were closed. Luckily we stumbled upon a night market just next to the State Mosque. For more about this night market and must try local Kuantan foods, check out our Kuantan food vlog. Kuantan is also well known for its beaches. We spent a relaxing week at the Timor Bay Seafront residences along Pantai Balok, which is about 20 minutes outside of the city of Kuantan. We put together another vlog about our experience here, so check out that video if you want to know more. Sungai Pandan Waterfall is one of the biggest attractions in Kuantan, and we were very lucky to have our new friends Safwan and Wan take us there. Well, this is looking very awesome. So. I think you can swim through some of the pools. I can see a couple of people over there. We might go through this later. There's a bridge that you can walk along just right in front of the waterfall and it is such a nice view. This area is just so beautiful. So just got in change, we're going to swim under that waterfall in the pool below and uh, the water's really nice and fresh and the area is just so beautiful. Uh, the water temperature is just perfect. It just seems 
like a really popular spot for locals. Everyone's just relaxing. There was a big group of people that just got here. Everyone's really enjoying the atmosphere. Our new friends also gave us some pandan flavoured biscuits to try out. The biscuits were quite soft and spongy with a sweet liquid on the inside that would burst out whenever you bit into the biscuit. It was a really tasty treat. We really enjoyed swimming at the waterfall at Sungai Pandan Waterfall and now that we've had our swim, we've got some refreshing drinks and some, some snacks as well. Um, so they're for sale here at one of the stalls. We've got some sun quick. And it's beautiful here. There's some tables and chairs under an umbrella. So you've got lots of shade, really nice atmosphere, very relaxing. So you can get some food here for sale as well. Uh, we've got a couple of fish balls on skewers here. We've got crab and we've got squid and oh, it looks so good. Mm. We were so grateful for Safwan's hospitality. We wouldn't have visited the waterfall otherwise as we didn't have our own transport. But the most humbling experience was next, with Safran taking us on a tour of his school and also offering us lunch. It was a really special experience to be welcomed into the school. The boys even sang a song especially for us. As a parting gift, Safwan gave Jay a traditional blue dress, which Jay will be wearing a lot more over the next couple of videos. Thank you so much Safwan and Juan for a Kwantan experience we will never forget. During our time in Kwantan, we stayed at the Hotel Classic. It's a great budget option at 103 ringgit per night with a comfortable bed, spacious room and a bathroom. Breakfast was included and it had a good range of options available. We left Kwantan from Kwantan Bus Station. This is the main transport hub for the city, but is located outside the main part of town. Fortunately for us, our new friend Safwan dropped us right off at the bus station. If you need to organise transport to Kwantan bus station yourself, there are a few different ways to get there. Grab is a popular rideshare service in Malaysia, which is a cheap and convenient way to get around. Alternatively, there are taxis, or you could take a couple of local buses. We hope you enjoyed our East Coast Malaysia vlog. If you did, hit that like button and let us know what you thought by leaving us a comment. We've got plenty more Malaysia travel videos on the way, so make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button to stay tuned.